Speaking of religion, <laughs> I must break away here. We have a very special guest. I'm, I've been wanting to have her on for a long time. She's an actress and the creator and host of A&E's Scientology in the Aftermath. Please welcome Leah Remini. <laughs> Let me try to calm down from the panel. Yes, I'm take screaming, a moment. Do you need some water? No, I do, but <laughs> screaming and arguing to be with someone who I admire greatly because I've been watching your show and I am telling you, I am such an admirer of what you are doing. Thank you. And, you know, I think when, when, when the history of Scientology is finally written, mm -hmm. it's going to show that, you know, you had a fate chose you. And Thank you. To, to come in like in Act Five, right? You're like, you're like Reagan with you know, tear down that wall, Mr. Gorbachev. <laughs> Thank you. And you know, we had Going Clear, yes. that documentary yes. on our network, yes. which was awesome, and yes. it, it started to break the wall down. Exactly. But I feel like what you are doing is putting a human face on the people who suffer from this awful cult. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And you're right. Um, it's about families, right? It's, it's about families, but it's about the damage that it does to people as individuals. I mean, we're all um, still kind of managing who we are from being in a cult. Um, it, it's, it's not an easy thing. But you were a child. I mean, I was a right. child, and most people you know. are uh, who get in. Um, right. Because it really was a, a religion, I use that loosely, of its time. Right. Um, so it, it, I, I think they're going to be hard pressed to find new but, members. However, I, I felt a responsibility because, a, as somebody who was a Scientologist for over 35 years, um, you know, what they disseminate was that we were responsible for mankind. And so there was a and huge... helping. Yes, we were, but, but you that... You thought you were helping. We thought we were helping. And right. that's why it's hard to that... come out. I'm, I'm in a tough position because on one hand, I'm attacking this cult. And at the same time, I know that the people who are still in are under the, this, this spell uh, of doing good right. for the world because that's what the, the organization well, and that, is. And that's another great thing that came out in your show mm -hmm. that, that really explained a lot to me about how otherwise intelligent people, who I knew some of them, could be right. in this cult. I right. mean, I would say any religion, but especially this one. And you really put this out there that what it is is you're audited. Mm -hmm. They're always questioning you. What did you do? What did you see? Right. So it just doesn't pay to look on the internet right. because you know you're going to have to answer that question in an audit. Right. So you just don't look. Right. So you just don't know. Somebody told me the first right. time you found out something about Scientology was when you saw my movie, Religious. Exactly. So I watched. That's, well, that's for, well, first of all, I wasn't allowed. Well, Scientologists are not allowed to look at things like this. We're right. not allowed to look or, or listen to people who are critics of of of. Scientology. So I, I watched it because I was a troublemaker, apparently, uh, always. And I watched it. Now, I wasn't at the level that you were, dis what you were revealing in your documentary, I wasn't even at that level yet. So you seemed a little crazy to me uh, because I didn't know what you were saying was true. So I was like, that shit's crazy, right? <laughs> but then, as you get to the upper levels, and now I want you to know that it's confidential, so a lot of people don't even reach this confidential level in Scientology. They and you were like, Bill Maher's got the real shit. Right, right. <laughs> although, although, you were <laughs> technically correct in the way you said it. And I should tell you, you know, and, and this, is, uh, this is just a... I want to say this to the press and people who talk about Scientology, is you should always talk to somebody who was in. Because... If you don't get the nomenclature 100% correct, right. we have a way of just kind of discrediting sure. you from the if you're not using it correctly. Right. So you didn't say exactly, but you were on the right track. Okay, I did, but but you don't know this until three hundred thousand dollars later, and then you're really immersed well, that, into it. That's another great thing I learned from your show. You, yeah. it, you said I'll, it always sticks with me. You said when you go to a Scientology event and you look in the parking lot. Every one of the cars is a cheap, shitty old car. Correct. Because Scientology sucks all the money out Correct. of all of this. Correct. My mother's laughing because she's in the audience and she's the only one who had a nice car because I bought it for her. Um, <laughs> um, but that—that that is, I mean, it, it reminded me a lot of, of communism. 
Yes. It, because, like, communism, first of all, you're poor. They take all your money. Yes. And also the snitching on each other. Correct. Everybody's watching each right. other. I mean, again, this is the, the great thing about your show. It showed this disconnecting. Yes. That people, that they ask you to disconnect from your own family. They don't it's ask you. It's families against each other. Yes, they don't ask you. It's a requirement. Right. And and they, the church, thinks they're, they, they have outsmarted the press because it is incorrect to say that across all boards you have to disconnect from anyone who talks about Scientology. The truth of the matter is the policies, because everything is run by policy in Scientology, there's no room for assimilation, there's no, what did you think, what did you get from that? You know, it's, right. what the fuck does it say, and if you don't understand it, you know, yeah. do a clay demo of it, and you, you get checked out on policies, like, what does the word and mean? And you need to know 25 definitions of the word and, and its derivations. Um, so really? you, it, so yes, so it's it's almost it's it's. A <laughs> they thought Milo was the. Yeah, crazy exactly. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, the, the, well, you Milo, are, you, you got nothing incorrect. on this Scientology. You weren't you were incorrect about that. But the the the, uh, so, the, but, the 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 problem there is that we're we're self brainwashing, which right. uh, so a cult expert yeah. actually told us that Steve Hassan in, in our last special, and I didn't realize that because we are required to study two and a half hours a day daily, like minimum, minimum. So we are looking up the words, we are being checked out on yeah, but, on the but, policies of but Scientology. But even, like, I know they're big on celebrities. Even of course. the celebrities have to do this? You, yes. You're telling me Tom Cruise does this? Yes, yes. Not only does Tom Cruise uh, do exactly that, now, it, now, I don't want you to get the idea that he's not, uh, that certain policies are not being um, bent for him because they are, um, and that is the truth. And that was part of the hypocrisy. But he could end this. He, he could end this single-handedly. Correct. He is the one person. Correct. Who could and and, and because and because they're saying that he single-handedly is clearing the planet, is changing the planet. So most Scientologists believe clearing the planet. He couldn't even make Jack Reacher a hit. <laughs> Well, Scientologists believe that he did, yeah. okay? And, <laughs> exactly. Scientolo yeah. and Scientologists believe that if he didn't make it a hit, it was because they were suppressive evil people, suppressive people working right. against him because he's All winning right. in life and he's clearing the planet. So, so where, where is this going to be in 10 years? I mean, I, I, uh, again, I think you really are playing a very key part. Thank you. And just, mm, it's about to fall, and then I think we're, you know... I, I hope so. Yeah. I mean, I hope, I hope so, so, because so it's, it's not people something... Are, yeah. Listen, it's not something to make fun of. It's not something because actually people are being bit, hurt. But you can make fun of it, Bill, I know, but, I, but, but I also want you no, to be... No, I mean, the people but, on your show who yeah. are the, oh, the ex-Scientology, yes. you see, it's like, wow, I didn't know there was a real world. Right. I want to play the Louis Armstrong song for them, What a Wonderful World. You know, like, no, you know, wow, you make, I can breathe and you know be what? That is so true. Sex. We don't, we, so we don't know this world, you right. know, so you're, right. you're absolutely right, and that's what I want to celebrate, is that these people Keep doing are it. survivors. So thank you you're for your... You're doing God's work. Thank you, my love. So are you, my love. Thank you. All right. Thank you.